Today, guys, we are going over some of the best Benny's vehicles in GTA Online, starting things off with the Sentinel Classic Widebody. It has a top speed of 127 miles per hour. You can purchase the vehicle for $650,000 and upgrade it to the Benny's version for an extra $700,000. It'll cost you about $630,000 to max this thing out, but one of my favorite things about the vehicle is you don't actually need to put a lot of upgrades on it to make it look nice. Just the basic body kit and a few minor upgrades, and this car looks stunning. Obviously, it will come down to personal preference, but I really like the way it looks when it's nice and clean. And in terms of performance, it's pretty damn great. It handles really well compared to a lot of other cars that look similar to it. So honestly, when it comes down to it, it looks beautiful. It's got decent upgrades. It looks beautiful stock and its performance is pretty damn great. Next, we have the 10F Widebody with a top speed of 128 miles per hour. It'll cost you $1,675,000 to purchase the normal 10F. And if you want to convert it to the wide body version, it'll cost you an extra 575,000 bucks, which isn't too bad. And if you want to fully max the car out, it'll cost you $514,000. Now, the best part about this vehicle, and it's very clear to everybody, is we've been waiting for a new version of an Audi R8 to come out in GTA 5 for a long time. Rockstar released this thing and hit it out of the park. And to make things even better, they added it to Benny's so then we can wide body the vehicle and put all these other cool upgrades on in terms of interior upgrades and exterior it's awesome and of course it is a very very good vehicle when it comes to racing and performance there's not a single thing wrong with it so it has to be on this list next is the weevil custom with a top speed of 137 miles per hour if you wanted to purchase the base version of it it'll cost you eight hundred and seventy thousand dollars or unlock the trade price and get it for six hundred and fifty two thousand the conversion cost is a bit pricey at nine hundred and eighty thousand dollars and if you want to max this thing out it'll cost you four hundred and fifty nine grand one thing that is great about the weevil custom obviously is its top speed this thing is fast as hell and it can also do wheelies since it is a muscle car but the other thing is the fact that you can make it look so different rockstar added tons of modifications to this vehicle the one you see on screen is my favorite look to the car but like i said you can make it look crazy you can make it look simple there's so much you could do to it and that's one of the best parts about benny's all of those awesome upgrades and this thing has a ton of them Next, we have the Itali GTB Custom with a top speed of 127 miles per hour. If you want to purchase the base version of the vehicle, it'll cost you $1,189,000. And if you want to convert it to the Benny's version, it'll cost you $495,000, which isn't too bad. And if you want to fully max the car out, it'll cost you $508,000. One thing I love about this is the fact that it is a supercar at Benny's. It's really fast, has tons of cool upgrades, and just the way the car looks is awesome. And when it comes to performance, it's not too bad either. It's definitely not the best in the entire game, but it is clearly not the worst. If you guys have ever driven this car around, it handles so well, sounds beautiful, and the way it looks on screen is one of my favorite customizations for the car. I think it is perfect, and I'm really glad they added it to Benny's. If you guys have never tried driving this thing before, I would highly recommend it. End of the day, it's a beautiful Benny's vehicle. Next, we have the stunning Comet Retro Custom with a top speed of 121 miles per hour. It'll only cost you 100,000 bucks to buy the normal Comet and convert it to the retro version for $645,000. And if you want to max the car out, it'll cost you $533,000. Now, this car just looks beautiful. One thing I love doing with it is creating custom looks to it, I guess. You take the livery and then you get the exact same base color coat and match it up with the main color on the livery and you can make it look something like this. I love doing it, but the car itself in terms of performance isn't the craziest thing in the world. It's just one of those vehicles that looks beautiful in game with a ton of different ways you can customize it, which is obviously one thing that I truly love and you should as well if you love Benny's vehicles. You could definitely use it in races, it's just you're not going to do that well compared to some of the other performance sports cars, it's definitely no match for that. But when it comes to looks and pure beauty, this thing hits it out of the park. Speaking of retro vehicles, you can't forget about the LG Retro Custom. With a 115 mile per hour top speed, you can get the base version for free or $95,000 and upgrade it to the retro version for $904,000. And if you want to max this car out, it'll cost you $701,000. Now, everybody loves the classic Skylines. And I hope in the future, Rockstar just adds a nice R34 or something like that to GTA Online. But 
The LG Retro Custom is kind of perfect. It's also one of my favorite cars in the game because of all the different ways you can customize it. Its performance is not the best in the world. That top speed is fairly low, but when it comes to handling and stuff like that, it is pretty great since it doesn't have a super high top speed. And you guys know you don't need a ton of speed to be the best racer out there. But either way, the car is awesome. I've never heard of anybody that does not like this thing, and it's a beautiful venues vehicle. Next, we have the Slam Van Custom, with a top speed of 117 miles per hour. I can't believe this thing has a higher top speed than the LG Retro Custom, but either way, you can pick this thing up for free on the streets, or purchase it for $49,000, and then convert it to the Benny's version for $415,000, and to max it out, it'll cost you $644,000. Once again, this isn't really a crazy performance vehicle, although it can do fairly well in certain races, but when it comes down to it, it's just one of those vehicles that looks beautiful. There's a lot of different ways you can customize it. The way that I have it on screen right here is one of my personal favorites. Some people will like the slam van, some people won't. When I first saw it, I didn't like it until I customized it like this, and it is now, once again, one of my favorite Benny's vehicles in the game. And finally, we have the Gauntlet Classic Custom with a top speed of 125 miles per hour. You guys can purchase the base version for $615,000 or unlock the trade price and get it for $461,000. If you want to convert it to the Benny's version, though, it'll cost $815,000 and to max it out, it'll cost $609,000. Once again, this car is beautiful. When it first came out, everybody loved it. And even just the normal Gauntlet Classic is a stunning vehicle. And when it comes to performance, it's not the greatest in the world. This fishtail just a little bit, but it is really fun to drift around with around corners and stuff like that, and it can definitely beat out a lot of muscle cars in races. But when it comes to the looks of the vehicle, it's beautiful. At least for me it is, because I'm a huge fan of the classic Challengers and Chargers, so obviously I'm gonna love this thing, and I'm assuming a lot of you guys would probably feel the same way. Anyways, these are some of the best Benny's vehicles in GTA 5 in my opinion. Obviously, I did leave a couple out, so be sure to comment some other ones that I didn't include in this video down below and let me know why you guys think they should be added to the list. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one.